And what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we are looking at the NFL Prize Picks Plays Week 18 final regular season slate. Let's go ahead and get into it. I got six picks on the screen. Many of them are full from teams that have stuff to play for, uh, playoff berths on the line. So it's going to be probably a day where you want to target some of those teams. Um, and then maybe like the teams that have already been out of it for a while, they're probably still going to play their, at least their main guys for a bit. So let's go ahead and get into it. As always, enjoy the videos. Pretty sure for the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out other links in the description. First pick I'm looking at is Baker Mayfield over 225 and a half passing yards. Baker Mayfield has been a, done a great job for the Bucks as of late. He's been playing really well. He might have earned himself a nice payday, so that definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, all they need to clinch the division title is a win here, which is probably likely against the Panthers team that does want to lose. But 225 seems low for Baker the way that he's been playing as of late. Christian Watson is my second pick. He's been missing a bunch of games recently, but first game in over a month. For him, if he does play, it looks like he probably will give it a go. Uh, they probably at least want to give him some reps before the playoffs start. Uh, and for them to clinch a playoff berth, easiest way, they got a bunch of scenarios, but the easiest way to do it would be a win against the Bears. And, you know, Jordan Love has uh, some incentives too. Uh, a couple, make a couple, I think a million bucks or maybe a little more if he does get them to the playoffs and gets a win today so taking him or taking Watson over 32 they'll probably want to give him at least some reps and especially against the Bears I think they're good against the rush so hopefully love the way that he's been playing as of late stays hot in this rivalry game we took Baker over past yards so you might as well take Mike Evans over receiving yards he's having another great season for the Bucks. he's also in a contract year so he's looking for a payday and he's probably earned it the way that he's played and best part about his season is that he stayed healthy for it didn't miss many games maybe missed one at most but he's been healthy which typically always has hamstring issues pop up hasn't happened I'm taking him over 63 and a half yards today against the Panthers I'm also taking Rashad White over 22 and a half receiving yards so just correlating Baker Mayfield with a couple of guys that can get it done with uh, receiving yards, even though Rashad White's the running back, he's going to be a guy that gets you anywhere from two to six targets out of the backfield most weeks. And matchup here is good one. Total is pretty low for him. Projection, I think it's super doable. We know that A.J. Dillon is going to miss the game today, so that's going to lead to more opportunities for Aaron Jones. You know, I like his number, even though it's a tough matchup here against the, um, against the Bears. Rush defense. He's been getting a ton of touches as of late and kind of making up for some lost time this year with injuries. Back-to-back -back over 120-yard performances. I think they're still going to try to get him the ball, and there's still going to be a team that likes to run the ball. So, um, As well as you know throwing with Jordan Love. But you could take him with receiving yards, but I think 63, 64 rush yards, if he's going to continue to get you, you know, a good amount of good amount of rush attempts, like 20 back-to-back -back weeks plus. He's probably going to still average over three and a half yards per rush. And then last pick is on the other side of this game, taking Justin Fields over 17 and a half completions. You know, Fields has been playing really well. Seems like he's gotten some more fans on his back. Um, so after, and they're kind of, they won enough games at this point where they can't tank for, you know, getting Caleb Williams or anything like that. So it seems like they're going to stick with Fields. Hopefully they can still get a good player in the draft and build around it. Actually, they still got the Panthers pick. So they do have a chance. I mean, they will have the number one pick. So it doesn't really matter for them if they win this game or not. I think they're going to try to go out and get the job done. And Fields trying to get some momentum heading into next year. So taking him over 17 and a half completions. He had 24 in the first meeting against the Packers. And the way that he's been playing as of late, uh, I think 17 and a half is pretty doable. So that's my picks today. Baker over past the yards. Watson over receiving yards. Mike Evans over receiving yards. Rashad White over receiving yards, Aaron Jones over rush yards, and Justin Fields over pass completions. Best of luck. Try to go out with a bang on the season, and I will catch you all next time.